Hello and welcome back. So we climbed up from the bottom of the old city uh, straight, uh, well, to the hole, I suppose. And maybe we need to Who's help out that woman. Behind the children still need passage out of the city. There's nothing I can do. The passenger quarters have been reserved by a dwarf named Orin. She picks a stray thread from her smooth, crisp jacket. Why do you bring this to me? Maya here might have a thing or two to say at the Brass Citadel. Oh yeah, intimidation. Been a few seasons since I personally commandeered a ship, but I doubt the Hazanui will mind. Maya cracks her knuckles. That will not be necessary. Very well. I could take three more in the hold, and no more. Orin and his crew have reserved the berths. The children are small. Sure, you can take more. I will already have to abandon crates of cargo to make room for these three. Plus, the food and water they require. Very well. Send them to me. The sooner we leave, the better. She shifts in her chair, looking around the tavern as if she expects someone to jump out at her. I want to find enough room for Biha and all the children. And I told you there is none. The three I agreed to take will barely fit in the hold as it is. Oh, okay. We need to talk with Oran. He needs to do the honorable thing. And uh, back out, I guess. Maybe we need to kill him. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, we are new, not too hesitant to kill people at this point. <laughs> but I can just say like, hey, Oren backed out. <laughs> but that's probably not the best way to make friends. Uh, but, um, I don't know who he represents. He's uh, just part of a paladin order, actually. So maybe we don't care about those guys. Uh, that's a very real possibility. So Oren, I came to talk with you again. This time... What do you require? Uh, I'm booking a passage for a family, but Seduzi only has room for three of them, so they'll be split. His hand jerks so violently that he splashes a few drop of wine on the table. He mops them up, rigid and painted expression on his face. And you'll be stuck with half of them for the whole journey. Won't that be odd? That will not do. That will not do at all. He's still dabbling at the spilled wine, but something brittle has crept into his frown. His companions shuffle nervously. At last, Oran pushes back from the table and looks up at them. Maya thumbs her chin, nodding. To Queen's birth, quickly. We must find a more suitable ship. They leave. <laughs> oh, that's epic. I suppose all my... Well, you must gather your party before I can't really call it good deeds, but like, we didn't kill them. We just tell them how it's gonna be. And they're like, wow, three children for the entire journey? Yeah, I think I'll pass. <laughs> so before, we were just about to murder them. And they were like, oh, you wanna fight me? And, and it could have turned into a bloodbath. Mostly their blood. But I told them about the children, they just gave up. Instantly. What is your business with me? Orem won't be traveling with you anymore? She eyes you suspiciously, the soldier with her shrug. That is convenient for you. But never mind, if there's trouble, I'm staying out of it. The births are paid for. You can send your friends as long as you promise not to make trouble for me. She glances from side to side, checking to make sure no one is listening. Just do it soon. I don't want any mess you've made to spill onto my decks. 
She looks at her crew and makes a twirling notion with her finger. Seriously, we're gonna ask about her business in Nekataka? <sighs> just pointing it out that I'm a captain too. I could just take the children, maybe drop them out, drop them off in a pleasure island or whatever. But I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get rid of the children. Like, I don't ignore the children, but like, I try to get rid of them. That's my good deed of the day. You know? What? What was that? Biha! Aren't you here? Let's Biha's home. Uh, guess what? I managed to find a suitable ship for you and your children. No, I don't have a ship. No, I'm not a captain. Uh, stop asking those things. I can't take you, okay? My... Damn. We, we better not bring up that I'm a captain. Because I don't know how many excuses I have. We're not taking her. Only three. Piha, can you just uh, stop uh, whacking a clout in the corner of your dark shack? The children are like... <sighs> We've given up on life. You gotta go early to get the good stuff from the pi price share pile. Well, I don't know how good that the stuff is. Not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? I found the money Botaro hit. Take it. I didn't find it. I spoke with Captain Seduzo about the passage out of Nakataka. I found Botaro in the old city. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I got some uh, news for you, I guess. Uh, I, but did you know Botaro was working with criminals? Of course not. He worked on the docks. I I'm sure of it. Her face flushes with shock. <clears throat> on that note, uh, yeah. Also, I I'm a watcher. I read the memory of hi in his soul. That's kind of saying that he died. She blinks at you in disbelief, her mouth half open. For what do you torment me? He was a good man. He showed me Seduzo a solonet. That's right. Please, no more. She holds her hands to her ears, backing away from you. As you say... The overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Such talk will bring him to our doorstep. Okay, uh... By the way, Butaro is dead, just in case that wasn't obvious. Of course. I only hoped. She breaks off, shaking her head. It is no matter. Thank you. For telling me. You're welcome. I spoke with Captain Seduzo about the passage out of Nekataka. What say, then? Biha listens with cautious hope. The children look on with wide, round eyes. You can all go! She's momentarily speechless, her eyes fill with tears. She drops the reeds as the brushes as she brushes them away. Maybe Ralentai will teach you a thing or two about cleaning your rags properly. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. She picks up the two infants and hurries the others to the door. That's it? Just leaving? Damn. Okay. I guess that's that. <laughs> so... What do... What kind of missions we have left? I think we have a mission about Archimir. Yes. We definitely have a mission about Archimir. And other than that, well, I'm th thinking about the Nekataka missions. Also, uh, we still haven't explored the, the mainland, uh, so to speak. We didn't explore the land, only the city. 
We can go on foot. So we're gonna go to Perky's Overlook. To Archimir's Manor. He said we can just pop by any time. A voice calls out to you. From an alleyway. <laughs> well. That's exactly how it sounds like. <clears throat> Continue. Like, what I'm gonna do? do exit out? <laughs> hmm. If so, then it should be presented differently. Nakataka's poorer districts host more dark than light. The streets and alleys, the only housing Manahuan know. As you pass by one of these alleys, a voice calls out. You turn to see a hand fold out from the darkness. The pale palm balances a figurine. More silhouette than statue in the dim light. And uh, when you try to get a clearer look, the fingers fold back up. Magic, the voice says. It summons beasts to harry your enemies. Will you save, will save you in a pinch in a city as dangerous as this? Surely your life is worth a few silver. Oh, great. Torch light glints from the man's thief. You want, you follow. The figure withdraws into the darkness. Though you only caught a glimpse of it, you know that the figurine is no mere trinket. There is untapped power within its form. Enter the tunnel. Within the alley, a torch ignites, revealing a tunnel entrance. You pass through the arcway. On the other side, a group of Principi holds torches and blades. Bodies stuff, the corners, eyes dry in the flickering flames. Some with their hands bound, others face down in the grime. Strangely vacuum, isn't it? Easy. The pirate draws his weapon. Set out a little cheese and these foreign rats come tick tick tick, chittering in. Ability. Blind the Principi with an ability, I can't do that. Hand over the figure now. Let's talk about this, we don't need to come... Attempt to flee. Draw your weapon attack. Are you kidding me? This is These are the Principi. We kill them every time. <laughs> they are literally criminals. <laughs> So why wouldn't I kill them? This is my chance to live out my murderous nature without feeling bad at all. Slit them to stern. What? Uh oh. Wow, Elod didn't hesitate whatsoever. He rushed in. Okay, guys, you got this. Dawan. Oh, yeah, he's with me. Just kidding. Kill this guy. <laughs> what? Take that. Can we just attack the guy? Oh, not everyone attacked. Let's go. Huh. Was selected. Oh, that's so sad. What you got? Garbage. What else? Sure. That's that looks garbage still. Of course. of course it's garbage. What else we got here? Nothing. So, yeah, let's uh, keep going toward Archimir, I suppose. And I think after that, that's it. We can go out to the city. Probably I missed some things, but not a lot of them. And, and getting food for the galette, uh, the galette is not gonna work. 
uh, at least the way I want it to. Oh, you got new new guys. Not like <clears throat> I know, but um, you're losing some of these guys. Um, never seen these. Um, uh, I mean. I trust you had no trouble finding the place. Oh yeah. Um, uh, sighing, Archimir glances up from a roll of parchment. He takes up a quill and draws several lines across a calendar entry, uh, digging the nib hard enough that scratching fills the silence. Nekitaka is either a testament to the ancient Huana's love of labyrinths or their hatred of straight lines. He grimaces and rearranges several of the objects situa situated around his de desk. Thank you for the invitation, Archimir. Yeah, that's too... too lame. Age, not the Huana, has set the bones of the city crooked angles. Can we get to the point? Sadly, I did not invite you here for a discussion of city planning. You have not? I warn you to stay your hand and treat with me better than you did poor Consolot. Well. He pauses to study your reaction with interest. Console hot didn't give me much choice. High five. Sighing, he wraps his knuckles on the top of his neck desk. But let us get to the business of the hour, shall we? He opens his palms. My estate was recently burgled. My vault breached. He sighs, drawing a sheaf of papers closer and then pushing them away. No way, Archimir! Who could have been? I know, I was the one who burgled it. Ooh! That's terrible! Do you have any leads? I'll be happy to track down the culprits for you. <laughs> uh, I, and I don't know, I kinda like the... I, I was the one who burgled it. <laughs> Yeah, I was the one who burgled it. How very pleasing to hear an honest admission. <laughs> At the circle's behest, I'm expected to show restraint in these dealings. His nails dig into the armrest of his chair. Uh, tearing, uh, a tearing sound fills the silence between you. If you imagine that imp blood is easy to remove from carpet, I invite you to clean up after yourself. One hopes that Rawatai knows how to properly archive the Haripo epic. Is their cultural history as much as the Huanas? If they need to finance this campaign somehow? <laughs> Did I ask a question? Archimir glances to the left and right. He waits before continuing. The Circle of Arch Magi wishes for us to put this unpleasantness in the past with a gesture of good faith. You're the one who's uh, showing this gesture. <clears throat> when he finishes his air quotes, his elbow knocks over an inkwell. Archimir simply glares at the spilled ink until it retreats back into its uh, receptacle. Receptacle? Want me to steal the Harapo epic back? <laughs> project <laughs> but no the circle has expressed concerns about a certain mobile deity oh yeah the dead fire is a fragile place and a blundering soul drain like Aethus can damage more than just castle keeps the dead fire will be lucky if any of its reefs endure this long walk of his Indeed. It isn't our desire that you apprehend the deity. That simply isn't practical. I'm listening. We need your help in preparing for the worst possible outcome. Archimir presses his thumb down on a spider crawling across his desk. His upper lip pulls back with delight. 
what can I accomplish that you can't? Wait. Arkhamer stops himself. His fingers splayed on the desk in the midst of a fidget. You are only involved because it is advantageous for knowledge of the Circle's involvement to remain discreet. The wizard Bikana installed an observatory due northeast of Nekataka. For your absolution, the Circle asks that you locate her research. As long as I get paid. With the spoils of my estate to me, <laughs> absolutely not. His brow furrows. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, Archimir, but you basically had nothing. I even stole your pajamas. And come on, I left pretty sad. Fair warning. A vessel flying the sigil of the torn bannerman set a course for the observatory. Frowning, Archimir uh, shifts among his correspondence until he sets upon uh, the one he seeks. I have every reason to believe they travel armed. Well, I very much suspect that as well. How could you possibly know this? Come on, it's a pretty good educated guess. They are elite mercenaries. We faced off at the Siege of Cracked Holt. Apparently. I really should have played the expansion of the first Pillars game. Or maybe replayed it before I played Pillars 2. Did I inquire after your personal history? Archimir sneezes into his sleeve and grimaces. My interest begins and ends at a single point. That someone of great means desires abandoned arcane research. Research which we <coughs> disregard it. He clears his throat and glances away. Come back alive. Or not at all. Now, if you don't mind, I have a manner to restore. Excuse me. Maybe we, we left some rubble. A little bit of uh, blood on the floor. Uh, the, the in blood. But, and we took some stuff, perhaps, but I didn't make a mess other than that. Alright? I didn't, like, knock over chairs, like, or, like, just destroyed furniture. I didn't do that. So, um, you're welcome. <laughs> and they household staff to replenish. Yeah. Just get... Smarter ones this time. He bites his lower lip and narrows his eyes at you. Travel to Bekarna's observatory. Alright. So... Huh. Where to next? I think... The next stop... Is gonna be... What's outside the city. Because at this point we kinda explored... All I can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna leave the city on foot and check uh, this island. It's been a, a while since I actually did anything but uh, run around in uh, the Kataka. I don't care too much about the water sh shapers. I like druids, but I like druids, but like I don't know. So, leave the city on foot. After all this time, damn, that was long, <laughs> but it was awesome. This whole uh, I don't know, part that I just spent in the city a long time. But very enjoyable one. So, what can we find outside the city? Hmm, now, finally. 
So, uh, I just picked some apples. Wait. No, I, d I didn't click on that. Okay. It was somewhat hard to click on it for no apparent reason. No mood the marauder. Do I have some kind of a uh, mission here? Yeah, that's kind of lame. So we can go down, we can go up. But it's definitely a uh, dead end. At Nomu. I guess I'm gonna go in a circle. Kind of. Counterclockwise circle. I'm quite happy with my party right now. I'm a little bit bummed that we ha don't have a lot. I don't care too much about not having Palagina in the team. Oh, sorry. You wanna talk? <clears throat> Watcher. Sari claps her hands together excitedly, foregoing nibbling on her bottom lip. She beams you a sunny grin. Guess what? Now go on and guess, really. Ah, uh, you had another dream about me? Not a god's darn one. And ain't that just it? Okay. Her eyes gleam with a shining triumph. I feel so fine. Like I swallowed a star and now I got light. Bursting from my chest. I'm happy for you. Can you see it in me? This happiness? It's all on account of you, Watcher. I think I deserve a little compensation, don't you? <laughs> Damn. I'm not that cheap. That's great, Sorry. <laughs> Everything's different now. She nods. The world looks so dang bright, doesn't it? Even at night. I don't necessarily agree with that. She tips her face up, her eyes skim the reaches of the sky. The sky goes all glittery with stars. Must be what the gods see when new souls are born. Right. As Sori saunters off, she sighs with contentment. Contentment. Okay. I guess you're happy about... Uh, Whoa, not having the burden. Oh boy. We need to... Of so many souls. Yeah, this looks fine. Hey, what's up guys? Barbarians! Oh, how we charmed the bear. Killed Nobu. We need to return to Aboko. Who I don't exactly know where he is. I think he's a. Uh, maybe. At Queen's birth. Oh, the bear is not with us. Kill it. Oh, bear. Yeah, these guys are super broke. Except maybe one rank. Oh. One attribute and a skill determined by the user ca user's class. Interesting. So, where do we need to return this mission? Bounty. No the Marauder, return to Abaco, Valmer. Okay. So we need to go back to the Valmer. And as far as I know, these encounters, I suppose. It's not really an encounter. Well, it could be con called an encounter. I can just call it location. But I suppose encounter is fine as well. These locations don't really have anything but the fight. At least it happened so many times now. So we're in Nekataka. Um. Okay. 
Teo Ramunga. <clears throat> you notice a small pavilion containing a large weathered statue of a of, a, of stone a little ways off the path. It appears to be a Juana shrine. Uh, search the surrounding area. Oh, this is where you can actually use somebody else's uh, attribute. Or, no, no, ability, I mean. It's, it's actually called skill. Yeah, skill. The statue and the surrounding area is clean and... Uh, Maintained. Locals likely visit the shrine frequently to keep it that way. You look around but don't see anyone nearby. Approach and identify it. High religion. Oh, so you made it work with the party assist. The statue bears the shape of a nude woman with the head of a monstrous fish. Oh! Oh, what? No, that image is in my mind! Fucking hell, no! No, 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 no! That, that is, that is not good. Okay, f forget about this. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna read. <clears throat> it portrays Nagati. What? Oh, no! Oh, head of an anglerfish. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want to think about it. It's better if it's the other way around, isn't it? The Juana's rendition of Ondra. An inscription runs along the shrine's uh, base. The surf smooths stones, but also crushes them into sand. Requirement not met. Monk, cipher, or druid. That's the main character. Pray at the shrine and rest! You kneel before the shrine, whispering your prayer uh, to the cool stone. It refers, it offers no answers, but you feel calmer as you rise to your feet and set about making a camp. Maya pitches the bridge of her nose. The hours pass without complication and you wake and continue your journey. Alright, Teo Ramunga. What else we got? Art attack. Rao Hara. By the way, I do like these uh, uh, text adventures, so to speak. To the west of Nekataka, rolling verdant plains uh, stretch towards the mountains. Spike plants with bright flowers punctuate the emerald green tall grass. The occasional tree dots the landscape, broad foliage casting shade like a parasol. You crest a rise to see a group of reptilian figures roughly a hundred feet down the hill, hunched atop a broad flat stone. The saw rips, chirp, and squawk. Um, sneak closer and observe. You sling quietly through the bush, yet uh, eyes alert for other threats. As you near the group, you observe a party of roughly 10 saw rips. Several are poking at grubs with long sticks under the guidance of one of their shaman. In the center of the circle, Two of the grubs snap at one another, edged by their Sarib captors. One of the Sarbs perks up, nostrils flaring, and its head twists directly towards you. It barks and chirps, pointing a claw in your direction. The small creatures produce bows and spears, which they brandish threateningly at you. They make no move to attack, however. Impress them with some sleight of hand? What the hell? I suck at that! Easy there! We mean you no harm! Damn! I don't know! 
So either it, it's gonna be Watcher. Uh, convincing them with uh, one diplomacy. <laughs> Let's do it. Easy there, we mean you no harm. Failure! The Sarps cheater angrily at you, thrusting their spears in your direction as if to ward you off. Impress them with a sleight of hand, uh, Seraphim. The Sarps stare at Seraphim <laughs> performs a simple coin trick. They glance to one. <laughs> Another in confusion. You've never seen less impressed Wilder. One shakes its head, resting a disappointed palm on its snout. Another sits down, cradling its head in its hands. Draw weapons and attack? Can we justify that? Where I go? But they didn't attack me. I think we need to maybe go past them. Let's just... Now they are friendly, I'm gonna go. The Serbs silently watch you back away. Well, once you're well away, they begin chittering amongst themselves. A few turn back to their games, but others take up watch positions around the periphery of the rock. You leave the builder behind. Where will we? <laughs> Damn, I needed to kill them! The embarrassment is just too much. Either I kill them or I kill myself. <laughs> it's empty and gone. We need to go back. Pao Wake? What? <laughs> so we tried to sneak in, failed. Tried to, uh, tried to talk to them, failed. Tried the coin flip, that failed too. <laughs> <laughs> we left. <laughs> Those poor guys. <laughs> well, we tried everything. What? Oh no! Sorry, guys. Sorry, friend. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's just dangerous. I managed to block myself. You need to hear yourself. Like yesterday. Oh yeah, let's do heal. Oh, Plague Master jumped right on top of us. How the hell did that happen? Can't get a clean head. Not sure, I can. Funny how you only miss Let's go. Oh no, that is dangerous as heck. Evasive roll out of there. Damn, do I need to control? What are you doing? That's sorry. Can't get there. Okay. This turned out to be a uh, surprisingly difficult fight. Superb two handed staff. Okay, maybe that's why. They have superb weapons? Exceptional sorry spear. Okay. Exceptional bows. One-handed. So, what do we have here? Maybe. Well, that's superb. Okay. But can we use the spear instead? Wait a second, let's list it by money. 30, 41. That's actually better. I don't want to use the rod. <laughs> I don't know. The rod is not bad, especially if you go for the 
a blast, I guess. But use the staff instead. It deals more damage. So what else we found? Okay, I'm the worst. Uh, let's list by... Yeah, we also found an exceptional bow. And she doesn't want to use it because she likes using Arcubuses. And we're using a superb war bow here. But the hunting bow is just better. But how much better is it? It's not... No, no, no. The superb war bow is better than the exceptional hunting bow, obviously. But it's actually somewhat close, even like this. Wait. It has more penetration. Hunting Bow does, uh, like two more average damage. And actually has plus one accuracy. But... Has a little bit... Free lower penetration. So basically it's free accuracy. No no no. One accuracy and one damage in exchange for free penetration. Exceptional hunting bull might be the way to go. Damn. Exceptional if it attacks faster, I don't know. Does it attack faster? One five. Zero point eight five. Well, that's very comparable. Still. Super Vorbo. Why does it suck so hard? Well, it's not terrible, but... This is just straight up better. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what else we got. Now, this is fine. We can use the Sarb staff. Done and done. Uh, gunpowder bar barrel. Yeah. Maybe we should just Captain, shoot the gunpowder. This is a rather small place. Wait, more stuff. Exceptional sorry spear. Oh, look at that. Stairs. And I was trying to make uh, friends of the Sareb. But those guys obviously need to die. Plague Master. Oh, Plague Striker. Doing the job. Can you just jump away. This thing isn't doing the job. I like the jump. Hey, that wasn't half bad. No bad. What is that? Exceptional hunting bow. Exceptional spears. Uh oh. Okay, I think this is gonna be one of those times we don't rush in. But try to hold the line. Oh no, they're spilling over. Can we just do a buff on everybody? Be nice. Uh oh. Are you getting? Oh boy, they jump. The plague strikers all oh, jump in. Hold my guts, Captain. Oh, no, we need to engage them. Oh, the healer is about to go down as well. That's not good. Okay, I have some scrolls. Maybe for this occasion. 
Maybe not. That's a lot of dead people. I think I can pull that off. We're in trouble. That much is obvious. Let's try to do a heal on everybody. Yeah, that helped. Yeah, this is still bad. If I can use one of the other scrolls, I might just have to craft some of these. What is this? He can. Well, I guess do it. That scared them. That's full only, right? Apparently that's one per rest. Please don't kill me. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, she's down. Okay, this is just working terribly. Does anyone has resurrect scrolls? I don't think so. We, we definitely should, though. Yeah, we're gonna die. Like, this is not a fight we're gonna win. Damn. If only I could have just prevented. Uh, Mai also has a really good armor. That helps with shooting. But, and be... Possibly we'll be able to craft it up so it's not gonna suck because currently it's it only has six defense and that just is not good enough frankly So I think we might need to give her at least for now a better armor At least something that's a nine At very least that. Yeah. You're gonna wear that exceptional scale armor. Exceptional greatsword. Do we have some superb... Greatswords? But on a superb melee option? Seems like we don't. At least not a spare. Wow, that was terrible. At least I saved, right? Looks like. Yeah, that's that's just a really terrible fight. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, we are positioned correctly. Let's do a buff on everybody and maybe turn down the, the speed this thing isn't doing the job if you can set up a consecrated ground that could be really good don't I have like a watchful presence Could be good too. No, oh, she's she's gotta live. Also scare everybody. Oh, do you really want her dead? Really want her dead? Go away. Just heal a lot of people. 
Yeah, this is fine for now. Actually, terrified is amazing. <laughs> what is this? He's gonna die. If we can save him, we have to. This thing isn't doing the job. Alright, that's good. Do I have watchful presence on them? I want to put on the entire party. Will it work? Oh, they're getting out the position a little bit. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Devotions of the faithful. Isn't that still on? Yeah, it's it's still on us. Circle protection. Oh, we can do holy radiance. That's good. He's on his ass. No! If there's a way to save him, we need to. So we got watchful presence, which apparently will heal. Sorry, friend. I can't. Oh, Elton is with us. Hey, welcome to the party. Oh, he's dead. That must hurt. Let's go. Still got it. Quick, toss me something else. I reap what I sow. Wow. Tough fight. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Sorry now, Plague Striker. Who's left? Please cut me loose. So we got a bunch of exceptional spears. And a Selkie. Superb Sarif Staff. Nah, that's pretty damn good. Anyone wants the super staff? Maybe Maya. Maybe someone else who actually uses a melee weapon all the time. Because that's a really good staff. Alright. Gunpowder barrel. Hunting bow, exceptional. Captain. Stick it out. Now you be right. Aye, aye. Matey. What is that? One-handed hatchet. That gives you extra deflection. Grants solitude. Gain consecration every few seconds while there are no <laughs> nearby enemies. Oh, that's so funny. But yeah, this could be a good one for a tank, I suppose. Leave it to me. At glance you take this man to be one of the Juana. His face crumples as you approach and he sags in his bindings. Murmuring repeated oaths of gratitude. Please help me. I do not know how it is you came by this place, but please, you must save us. You be stuffed. Those animals ate him. My friend. I could only watch. Damn! The Sarps are always evil! He hangs his head, shuddering. Riku, who takes his life and spares mine. Please, let me free. I cannot stay here any longer. Where are we? How did you end up here? Does it matter? Cut them loose and ask questions later. We are just merchants. Traders. The lizards surrounded our wagon and dragged us here. <sighs> Tamau is gone. But Badima, surely she is still here? Yeah, let's just untie him. Ikira, you have my thanks once again. The man rubs at his chafed uh, wrists. They took someone else. Badima. <sighs> She must still be in the cages to the southeast. These creatures must have a key somewhere. 
Please help her. I think I will be sick. Aww. May Nagati guide you to calm waters. See you later, Kuaro Trader. I want one hell of a discount. My, I mean the five finger discount when it comes to your stock. Oh. Let's go. You see that uh, Didn't work. Big striker. After him. Come now, step into the light. Yeah. One spear. That's an exceptional spear, so not that bad. Oh look at Selki. Anyway guys, what? Just take a break. So thanks for watching and see you next time.